Hi, and welcome to a new series, a new approach that I'm going to take, which is revision. And this one is geared towards foundation and core, GCSE and IGCSE. I'm starting with this inequality question just because um, a lot of candidates don't realise that these are super simple questions if you just treat it like an equation. So if you are, are good at solving linear equations, you know that if this was an equal sign here, the first thing that we would do with 4x plus 4 less than or equals 22 is we would subtract 4 from both sides. Okay, so we're trying to find the set of values that x could be. So 3x on this side, because you take 4 away, um, is less than or equal to 22 subtract 4, which is 18. Okay, now I want the x to be on its own, so I need to get this 3 to the other side, and at the moment it's x multiplied by 3, so the inverse operation of that is to divide by 3. And so what we get is um, x by itself, 1x, less than or equal to 18 divided by 3, which is 6. Okay, and you can go and check with an answer um, of possible value of x. So you could try x equals 2. Let's try it. Um, if x was equal to 2, which is certainly less than or equal to 6, it goes in here, we get 3 times 2, 6, plus 4 is 10. 10 is less than 22, yeah, for instance. Okay, it could also be equal to 6. If 6 went in, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22. Okay, all right, so that's good. Question two. Okay, so we do five warm questions here. Um, this time, we've got a decrease in value of a car 10% a year. If it was bought for £5,000, how much will it be worth in two years? Okay, so let's think about what a decrease of 10% actually means. We're taking the 100% value, we're decreasing it by 10%, it becomes 90% of its original value. So that as a decimal is 0 0.9, and that's what I'm going to multiply by. Okay, so I've got £5,000. After one year, we're finding 90% of it. Oops, there we go, 0 0.9. Uh, so 5,000 times by 0 0.9 is equal to 4,500. Okay, so that's after year one. But it's not just for one year, it's for two years running. So we're going to do it again, so times 0 0.9. So times 0 0.9, 90% of that is 4,050. And that's our final answer. That's how much it would be worth after two years. Okay, so final answer there. Um, and if you're really savvy with this, you can realise that actually all we've done is to times by 0 0.9, times by 0 0.9, um, and multiplying something by itself is the same as squaring it. So all we've done here is times 0 0.9 to the power of two, so for two years, we answer 4,050. Okay, let's go and do another one. This time, uh, we've got a right angle triangle here, and we know two sides, and we're trying to find the third side. Uh, if you already know what we're doing here, you might realize that that side is called the hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle, and it's the longest side. And the theorem that we're going to use here, hopefully, is springing to mind its Pythagoras theorem, which tells us that when we've got a right angle triangle with A, B, and, and hypotenuse C, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so off we go. Let's go with this. So 4 squared plus 6 squared equals, let's call it X, X squared. Um, 4 squared is 16. Uh, 6 squared is 30, uh, 36 um, equals x squared. I can work this out. What is it? It's uh, 52 is x squared. And so x is going to be the square root of 52, which is equal to, and I'm going to put it to three significant figures because I know 52 is not a square number. So it's going to be 7.21. Okay, and it's centimeters to so three significant figures. I can look at it and think, is it? a sensible looking answer. Of course it is, because it's the longest side. So if it were any less than six or four, um, then I'd know that I'd made a mistake, but that looks good to me. Okay, next one, classic question. Um, groups data. So the table shows information about how long it takes students to get to school. Some students take between zero and 10 minutes, then 10 to 20 minutes, 10, 20 to 30 minutes, and so on. You can see the frequencies. So for instance, seven students took uh, greater than 30 minutes, but less than or equal to 40 minutes in this group, okay? 
We're going to work out an estimate for the means or the average amount of time it takes to get to school for these students. Okay, now obviously we don't actually know the specific times that each of these 12 students, for instance, took. We know it just lies between 20 and 30. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that everybody in here took the midpoint amount of time, the middle, the median amount of time. So we're going to find the midpoint of each group. Okay. And for this group here, halfway between 0 and 10 is 5. And halfway here is 15. And halfway here is 25. And halfway here is 35. And then we've got 45. So we're assuming that two people took five minutes, eight people took 15 minutes, 12 people took 25 minutes, and so on. And to find an estimate for the mean, we're going to have to find the total amount of time taken to get to school and divide it by all those minutes, divide it by the, the number of students. Now, how would I find the total amount of time taken to get to school? I'd need to assume that these two students took five minutes. So that would be two lots of five minutes, 10 minutes altogether. And then the next group tells me eight times 15. Uh, what's that? It's gonna be 120, isn't it? Eight times 15 plus another, I'm just gonna use my calculator eventually, 12 times 25. And then seven students taking 35 minutes each average and then one student taking 45 minutes altogether and I'm gonna to have to work out how many students as well you can tell me in the question so I think it's 20 uh, no it's not it's 30 it's 30 isn't it 8 16 seven, eight. yeah it's 30 students divided by 30 okay so I'm gonna grab my calculator and I'm gonna quickly add that up so um, 8 times 15 add 12 times 25 add be careful. Um, add 7 times 35. Add 1 times 45. Tells me that 720 minutes are taken by all these students on average uh, to get to school. And then let's divide that by how many students. So I get an answer of 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Comes out quite nice actually. 24 minutes, let's see where that lies. It lies about the midpoint of here, doesn't it? Which, you know, is kind of evenly distributed either side of this modal group here of 12. You know, the mode is one of the most frequency. Um, so yeah, it looks, like a, it looks like a decent answer to me. I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay, last question. Uh, this one, we're gonna use a bit of algebra. We're gonna set up um, some equations and solve simultaneously, another favorite of students. So. Let's have a look. David buys two DVDs and two CDs in a shop. Um, in total, they cost £18. And Ellie buys three DVDs and two CDs in the same shop, and they cost £22. Form two equations and solve them to find the cost of each DVD and each CD. So I'm going to call the cost of a DVD D, just to keep things a bit simple. And for a CD, I'm going to go for C. This is the cost of a CD. And what is it saying? So two DVDs, so two times the cost of a DVD plus two times the cost of a CD. Okay, it's a single CD in total, costs 18 pounds. And for Ellie, she bought three DVDs and two CDs and they cost 22 pounds. Okay, um, and solve them, form, solve them to four. Okay, right, now I can see that I've got two matchy matching, matchy, matchy um, terms in the middle here with the same sign. So I'm going to subtract. And actually looking at this, when I'm subtracting, I know that if I do two subtract three, I'm going to get negative and negative here. So it doesn't matter in what order I subtract. I'm going to actually flip them around and make life easier and put the bigger of the two equations in terms of its values on the top. So I've got 2D plus 2C equals 18 here. Then I'm going to subtract, okay? Just because it just makes life a little bit easier. I could have done it and I'd have ended up with minus D equals what? Minus four would have led me to the same answer, but it's not so obvious. Three D take away two D is one D. Two C to subtract two C is zero. I'll just make that a bit easier to see. And this is 22 minus 18, which is four. So I know that the cost of a DVD is four pounds. 
Okay. Um, now then, if I know that piece of information now, life is easy because all I have to do is use that to my advantage and substitute it back in to perhaps the first one here. So I know that 2D plus 2C equals 18. D is 4, so 2 times 4, add 2C equals 18. What's 2 times 4? It's 8. 8 plus 2C equals 18. I'm running out of room. Um, take away 8 from both sides here. I get 2C equals 10. And so the cost of a CD is going to be um, equal to 5 pounds. Okay, so a bit of substitution at the end there to get that that final cost. So that was the first of a series of foundation and core um, tutorials, just going through five questions at a time. Just five random pick and mix questions. If you enjoyed it, please do let me know. Please comment. Um, do subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your teachers about my channel. And I hope that was really helpful. And you know, watch this space for more of these. Okay, have a great day.